visiting Worst Guard cities in East Libya. The top United Nations official in the country visited its east in February to assess how the region's cities, some of them still littered with mines and unexploded missiles, are rehabilitating as they deal with a new wave of internally displaced persons and prepare for national elections in June. Uh, I'm on a visit to the east to go for the, for the first time for me to uh, Brega and Ajdabia, two of the places that were, of course, uh, on the front line of the, uh, uh, the fighting for a long time. Traces of the recent fighting are still obvious everywhere. A tour of the university reveals building after damaged building. Locals display a slideshow documenting their efforts to clear away up to 22,000 miles still littering the ground. One of the most impressive things, not only in relation to demining, but in general, is the way that local people have uh, very quickly started addressing their own needs without waiting very often for any kind of international assistance or, and indeed before the the government has been able to assist them, uh, but certainly the United Nations Mine Action Service is continuing to intensify mine action efforts uh, across the country and to develop uh, national capacity. And at a local school, young children sing the New Libyan Anthem. In Ajdabia, the faces of martyrs stare out of a memorial wall next to a tank graveyard. The town of some 200,000 saw intense fighting and changed hands four times. At the town hospital in the local substation of the Great Man-Made River, an enormous project that funnels water from under the Sahara to coastal cities, officials show off their painstakingly maintained equipment. And certainly I've been uh, received in such a uh, hospitable and friendly way that I very much hope they come again. You're home. Thank you. And, uh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Compounding their troubles, Ashdabia local council members say that the city has received thousands of newly displaced refugees from intertribal clashes in the southeast. Certainly, both in Ashdabia and in Benghazi, the local councils are very concerned with the problem they have in caring for people who've been displaced, in some cases going back several months, such as the, the Tuaga, uh, and now of course recently displaced from Kufa, as well as refugees from Syria. Uh, it's a major burden for those, uh, those places, and again, the United Nations, the International Organization for Migration, we see what we can do to assist. After decades of dictatorship followed by a year of revolution and political instability, this coming June's elections may offer these young schoolchildren a brighter future.